Hello, fellow Daz Studio enthusiasts. This is Not From This World, and welcome back to my tutorial series. Now, last week, I talked about a cool add-on called Mesh Grabber, and I kind of want to wrap that up this week, showing you how you can actually save your morph. So I'm going to do a couple of things today. I want to show you how you can take a morph that you have created in Deformer and save it as a mesh grabber morph. So we can take that Deformer morph that we create and turn it into a mesh grabber morph by changing it up, man, uh, manipulating it, and then saving it. And then we're going to take our Milica character, and I'm going to show you how to save the morph I created with her clothing, where I dropped the strap off of her shoulder. So let's get started. Uh, first, by talking about how we can create a morph from an existing deformer morph. Former. So, I do have a video on how to create a morph and save it. So, just go to that video. I'll have a link below for it. Go to that video and you can learn how to make a morph. Once you have a morph, you can manipulate and change that morph with mesh grabber and how you do that is by going to your morphs and I'm going to show you this with the waist test so if you remember I made this waist test morph when it went in my other um, tutorial and what it does is it was shrinking down our girl's waist and Honestly, it just kind of makes it look more, she, she looks more like a Barbie doll, I guess, with this. So what we can do is we can change this morph. Let's make it pretty extreme here. We can, we can change this morph within our mesh grabber. So in order to do this, I'm going to take that morph that I like and I'm going to select the favorite tab, which is this little heart. So I'm going to select it. And when I have it selected, all right, I can click on my figure to get mesh grabber activated. And down here, it's going to um, say modifier statistics. And then next to that is morphs. And I can hit load. And then it says uh, the following morphs um, have been marked as favorites will be imported. So I favorited the waste test. I'm going to hit import. And now I can manipulate my waste test morph. All right. So if I, if I move this morph, I can then uh, change this morph with my geometry. Now, what should I do? So uh, perhaps I'm going to take the uh, geometry of her buttocks and uh, enhance it. So I can select different geometry of her butt and I can change this morph so that when I move her hips it also changes her glutes. So I'm just gonna select all of her glutes And then we'll we'll make a morph with this uh, with our mesh grabber. Okay. Um, 
just like with other um, tools like Deformer, if I hold control, if I let go of my mouse, I just have to hit control and hold it down. And then I can continue to include more geometry without resetting everything. Just got that uh, menu because I right clicked on accident. Okay, so you can see, I can shrink this down so it's not in the way. And then I can keep just selecting more geometry. Okay. Uh, to shrink this sphere, because it's it's blocking my view, I'm just holding down control and I'm moving my mouse wheel. Is that what you call it? A mouse wheel? The little wheel slider on my mouse. So I can change that fall off radius. So uh, I can get rid of it, kind of make it zero so I can see what I'm doing and then I can go back to five which is five is the um, default so now let's just uh, uh, I'm gonna take and uh, you know let's just see what we can create here whoa that's that's pretty pretty crazy so see, I can uh, I can also change this. Let's change it to a sphere. Ah, that doesn't look that looks goofy. Look, let's do the, this. Looks like an alien butt or something. Okay, so we just made a huge butt. So when I have my waist, I'm going to create my waist. And it's going to morph the butt, too. So once I have that morph, I can hit save. Just make sure you have Mesh Grabber activated and you have the, your um, character selected. I'm going to hit save. And it's going to tell me that I need to rename it. So I can say this is going to be, instead of Waste Test 1, which was my original name, um, I can change it. One thing I should tell you is before you save it, uh, you want to move your original um, morph back to zero. Otherwise, you're going to mess up the geometry. Every time you load this morph, it's going to morph it together. So we're going to change that waste test back to zero, the one that we favorited. And then I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to rename this. So instead of having it named Waste Test 2, we can say this is going to be our butt morph. And I know I didn't do a great job with creating that morph. We could do a better job. But this is just an example here. All right, so it says use name. And we just hit okay okay so once I have my morph saved through mesh grabber I want to uh, put it into my morph folder under the parameters tab now I'm gonna do that the same way I did it with deformer I'm gonna go to file uh, save as then I'm gonna drop down to support asset and then go to Morph Assets. Now this is going to give me an asset directory. So I'm going to store this in my external uh, drive. And my vendor name is not from this world. The product we're going to call Butt Morph. So I'm going to name it Butt Morph. And then I'm going to select my Genesis 8 character because that's where I created it. I'm going to select that and then I'm going to go down to 
mesh grabber, select mesh grabber, and then select the butt morph, and I'm gonna hit accept. Okay, once I have that saved, I'm not gonna find my new morph in morphs like I did with the deformer. I need to scroll down and select mesh grabber, and my butt morph's gonna be right there. So see now, I have a saved mesh grabber morph. Pretty darn cool. For the next thing, I want to show you how we can save the morph that we created using mesh grabber. So remember last week, we took our uh, shoulder strap and we dropped it down off of Milika's shoulder. And what's really cool about this is I can now save this as a permanent morph for our nightgown. And so what I need to do is uh, make sure that I have Mesh Grabber uh, selected in the tool settings. I'm going to click on my nightgown and then I'm going to go to the parameters tab and I'm going to select actor. And when I do that, you're going to see that we have all the morphs that this prop contains. Now, what's really cool is all I have to do is select one of these. And because our um, shoulder strap is near her right breast, I'm just going to favorite the adjust breast right. So I'm gonna click on the little heart and I'm gonna favorite that. Now, once we do that, we can go over to our tool settings and we're gonna hit save. Now, once we do that, I'm gonna uh, rename this uh, something like uh, shoulder strap. All right, and once I do that, I'm just going to um, Note that it's in Mesh Grabber, and I'm going to hit OK. Now, once I have that saved, I can um, look here under my Parameters tab, and I can find where it says Mesh Grabber. I can select the Mesh Grabber, and here is my morph. So my morph is saved within the Parameters tab of my nightgown. So see what's really cool is this is at 100%. I can drop it down to zero and it's back to the way it was before we used Mesh Grabber. And see, I can also adjust it partially. So here it is at about 50%. Mesh Grabber is super cool and I hope you like this and uh, I hope you learned something. So please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and give me a comment on what you'd like to see next. Um, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Let's render a nice picture up of Milika. And I'll see you next time. Have a great one.